Greetings ladies and gentlemen Welcome back to the channel Remember to like, share, comment and subscribe right? If you are really liking these videos that I am putting out Remember to like Like the video and drop a comment Alright so for today's video I want to speak about some hard truths That we need to accept as human beings Look here These things are very difficult to accept and it took me some time to accept a lot of them and some I still struggle with accepting that's just the hard truth some of them still struggle with accepting them because it can be very difficult you understand to get to a place where you say Jesus um, you know say me did really wrong or I'm really did I look upon this from the wrong perspective you know it's very difficult but when you get to that place it makes you so powerful it makes life so easy it brings down your blood pressure and it keeps you from getting hurt or getting angry easily understand one of the things is that sometimes not sometimes we need to accept as individuals that sometimes right as some for free in the sentence structure we need to accept as individuals that sometimes we are terrible at communicating no doubt about it sometimes we are terrible at communication and we need to accept this and know that we are terrible communicators and this is sometimes because um what is passed down from our parents and grandparents to us you know they themselves don't know how to communicate so they are terrible communicators to us and then we inherit that and become terrible communicators as well right in one of the, the, the art of communicating or one of the important things of communicating is trying to see things from another person's perspective not only our perspective because that is one of the killer of relationships you know whether it's an intimate relationship or whether it's a friendship we will move from Portmore to Westmoreland travel all the way just to prove our point and to prove that we are right to prove that we are correct but sometimes you don't need to do that even if you know say you right you get to me I say sometimes you have to sit and listen listening is key as well in communicating because many times we listen to respond we don't listen to understand so I don't care how the other person I talk and I try to explain we don't hear nothing we just hear constant chaos or constant noise because what? we don't listen to understand what the person I say we are listening for respond to, to show why we were right or why we were hurt or why we did what we did why we said what we said but we are not open to listening to the other person Look here, many friendships, many relationships could have been saved. Things could have been patched up if only we communicate. If only we communicate, we can't expect people to read our minds or because I feel that I am right. You know, you should only listen to me. I mean, I need to listen to you because when done, be judge, jury, executioner, and say that you are wrong. So, me not listen to you. You need to listen to me. No, man, we are bad at communicating. And we need to accept that fact that we are bad at communicating. It is okay to apologize. Now, bring up this near. It is okay to apologize. Apologizing doesn't mean that you are weak. But apologizing means that you accept that you are wrong. And also we should add to apologizing how we can make the situation better. Many times we don't want to accept people's apology. It's, it's like we want our pound of flesh and if the person don't bleed, then we can't accept the apology and we can't accept that the person accepted that they were wrong. We also need to give people a chance to apologize. We need to move away from this notion where we have a disagreement, some big thing happen out of it. We don't speak for a while and when we actually come together, we just say, okay, yeah, I'll move on. No, we need to ash out the situation. I believe in that. We need to ash out the situation and then see where you went wrong, where I went wrong, or maybe it was just a misunderstanding and we were looking from two different perspectives and we didn't communicate. 
We need to apologize when we are wrong and give people the opportunity to apologize. You understand? And then come to a solution to, to ensure that the situation doesn't happen again. Many relationships, many friendships could have been saved if a conversation was had and persons were given the opportunity to apologize and come to agreement that what can be done to fix the situation. That's all I say. Apologize when you're wrong. Give people the opportunity to apologize. Apologizing doesn't mean that you are weak. Apologizing means say you're strong and you fix things. Next hard truth that we need to understand is that we need to accept people for who they are. My cousin always tell me this. Big up Andrea. And my growth for sister is a real thing. Stop expecting you from people. Stop expecting you from people. Not because you wouldn't do it means that they are not going to do it. No, we need to stop that. Stop expecting you from people. You see, the thing is, you don't know why people do what they do. You don't know why people say what they say. You don't know why people are the way that they are. Chances are 99% of the time, people's experiences shape who they are. So stop expecting you from people. Accept the person for who they are. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. We have to accept it, right? Many of us do, you know. We're expecting people f to do differently without communicating because we have a difficulty setting boundaries. You see, me, I struggle with that. I struggle with setting boundaries. Come say, yo, me in a relationship, we're friends, and people are adult. People need to know this, people need to know that. But guess what? We don't communicate to people and say, look here, I don't like this. When you do this, it makes me feel this way. We don't communicate that, you know. But when time people do something where we don't like, say something where we don't like, act in a particular way that we don't like, we start dry up and we start showing the person bad face and we start treat them indifferently because we are saying, no, you need to, you should have known that I don't like this. You should have known that I don't like that. But the fact is, we didn't communicate it. We are terrible at communication and we keep expecting us from other persons when the person is different culturally they have a different experience and they are the way they are we have to accept people and know say john tom stay so mary jane stay so so you decide if you're going to deal with it or not or you can decide to communicate and say say this little thing boy yo because we in other friendship here, other relationship here, me not like it. So say if you can't work on it. You understand? Stop expecting you from people. Stop, stop, stop. Stop expecting you from people. You get what I'm saying? Next thing is that we are A OK -okay when we outgrow people. <laughs> is it when we say, oh, and a person that we never deal again because that person is on my level and me not like other person that moves so we outgrow people. You see me? And we are A-OK -okay and we are fine with that. But we become bitter, we become egotistic, we become hurt when people outgrow us. Look here, we outgrow people and it is fine. People also outgrow us and it should be fine. Let us not become bitter if somebody outgrows us and we don't have the kind of friendship or relationship that we used to have. Listen to me. I'm a want you for understand this sometimes we are the problem sometimes i'm me are the problem me me sometimes i'm me are the problem sometimes i'm me toxic you know sometimes i'm me egotistic you know sometimes i'm me problematic too you know and i'm not seeing that because me i say oh i've been good to this person and we have been coming from so far so long so we expect it to continue Look here, some relationships are temporary. And you when the door close on them, sometimes we kick and scream and we fight for open the door to go back to that relationship. But some relationships are temporary. People will outgrow us and we need to accept it and know that it is fine. If somebody outgrow you, it is fine. If you don't have the sort of relationship that you used to have five years ago, 10 years ago, it is fine. Look here, People evolve. Whether it is good or bad, people 
evolve. We have to understand that, that life is dynamic. Life is constantly changing. Life don't remain one way. So many times we expect to maintain the same kind of relationships over the years. It would be nice if we maintain it. But sometimes it is just not humanly possible. And it doesn't mean so you have to become bitter or cut off the person or speak ill of the person or don't deal with the person none at all. You just understand that. Look here. Understand and accept that this person has outgrown me and it is okay. It doesn't mean that I'm a bad person, but the person that evolve and elevate and it is fine. You can still maintain a relationship with the person, but know that there are boundaries. There are certain limits that you can go. There are certain things you can't talk about again. Certain power can't happen again because the relationship is just not the same. It doesn't mean that the person is a bad person, you know. It doesn't mean that you are a bad person. It just means that life is dynamic. Life is constantly changing. You get what I say? I want you to think back to primary school, Zine. And tell me how many friends from primary school or high school that you are still friends with. Look here, many of my friends in primary school, I don't even know if they are dead or alive. <laughs> it might sound harsh, you know, but I true. Many of my friends from primary school, we don't even know them uh, if them dead or alive. And them people that uh, you still with them five days a week, you eat lunch together, you go together. Me don't even know if them dead or alive. Look here, many of my friends in high school, I don't even know if they are dead or alive either. And them are uh, people where... Uh, Constantly five days a week, we eat lunch together, we go home together, we go to the bathroom, we wash face, we clean shoes, with this, with that, with blah, blah, blah. Yes, you don't even know if they are dead or alive. You outgrow people and it is okay. People outgrow you and it is okay. Learn to accept these hard truths. In recapping, accept that you are bad at communicating and work on it. Stop expecting you from people. People are not you. You are not people. If you understand what I say, accept people for who they are. Accept people for who they are because I'm telling you there's method to their madness. There are reasons why they are the way they are. People outgrow you and it is okay. People outgrow you and it is okay. Listen. Listen to understand and stop listening to respond. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe.